Hey, today we're going to do a 30 minute upper body dumbbell workout. You can do this as a follow along from home or at the gym. We're going to do five exercises in section one, 40 seconds on with a 20 second transition for three rounds. We're going to start off with a floor press, then move on to a single arm row. Then we'll do the other side, some alternating clean and press and finish with some shrugs. You're gonna need two pairs of dumbbells or one adjustable pair of dumbbells. We're gonna start with a weight that you can do around 12 to 15 floor press with it. So get on the floor and get ready to go. This is a great chest and tricep exercise. We're gonna start with your triceps in contact with the floor. You're gonna press up to the top position, squeeze your chest together, and then slowly lower with control until the back of your arms make contact again with the floor, and then press straight back up. Make sure you're not resting in the bottom position. Have that nice slow tempo on the way down. If it's too easy for you, just bring your elbows in a little bit closer to your body. You'll hit the triceps a bit more and it will be a little bit more challenging. Next up, we're going to do a split stance Romanian deadlift and then at the bottom of the Romanian deadlift, you're going to add in a bent over row. We're going to come back up to the top in between each rep. You don't want to split your legs too far front to back so you should only need a foot in between your toe of your back leg and the heel of your front leg you're going to bend that back knee quite a lot and you're going to keep the front leg relatively straight but if you want to unlock it then it might help you to get a little bit more horizontal in the bottom position once you're there hold your torso steady whilst you do that row we're going to come back up to the top in between reps to give the lower back a rest and make sure that we can use a fairly heavy dumbbell and get a good row next you're going to split your stance the other way around and do the same on the other arm If you're struggling to support that bottom position, you can rest your free hand on that front knee for a little bit of support. But if you want a better core workout, you can just keep the hand hovering off to the side and engage that core whilst you do the row. Next up, you're going to do an alternating side single dumbbell clean and press. So you're going to clean the dumbbell up to your shoulder and then push press it overhead. I switch the dumbbell off my shoulder as it's coming down or if you want to switch the dumbbell at the bottom that's fine as well. Lower the dumbbell just below knee level around halfway down your shins. Then you're going to drive your hips, cleaning that dumbbell up to the shoulder, getting the elbow underneath the weight. Then you're going to push press it overhead. You're going to switch arms either off the shoulder or in the bottom position. Keep alternating sides. Make sure you get a nice tall lockout at the top and make sure you're not rounding your upper or lower back at any point in the movement. We want to try and avoid leaning back at the top as well. So although we don't want to round our back, we also don't want to overarch our back when we press overhead. Next up, we've got some dumbbell shrugs with a two second pause at the top of each rep. I'm a fan of shrugs. It really helps me stabilize my shoulder joints, but if you don't like them and you'd rather do calf raises, that's absolutely fine. Still doing a two second pause at the top of each rep. Just shrug your shoulders up and slightly back towards your ears and then slowly lower them back to the bottom position.
Great job. Take a short 30 second break now. That's round one of three done in this first section of the workout. We're gonna go again with those floor press in 20 seconds.
take another 30 second break. There's two down, just one to go before we move to some lighter dumbbells and change the exercises.
Well done, you're halfway through. On to section two now, we're gonna use some lighter dumbbells, doing five new exercises, still doing 40 on, 20 off for three rounds. The first exercise is gonna be some dumbbell L raises. After that, you're gonna move onto some nice controlled skull crushers. Then we're on to some Zotterman curls. You're gonna to twist to an overhand grip at the top and lower down with control. After that, we're on to sprinter crunches with a single dumbbell. And then finally, we're doing some single dumbbell dead bug pullovers. For this next section, you can go about half the weight of whatever you use for the first section, give or take a couple of kilos. You're gonna need to be able to do a skull crusher with it for around 15 reps, so bear that in mind when you make your weight choice. Let's get ready to go with those L raises. One arm is gonna do a front raise while the other arm does a lateral raise. You're gonna make sure the dumbbells don't touch your body as you transition to the other side, and you're gonna alternate sides. Next, bring yourself onto the floor and you're gonna do some skull crushes. Slowly lower the dumbbells down until they come level with the tops of your ears, making sure you don't hit yourself in the head. Keep the upper arm still as you extend at the elbow until your arms come back to the top position. When you get to the top, you wanna to straighten your arms, contract your triceps, and then slowly lower the dumbbells back to the bottom. Next, we're gonna do a great variation of a bicep curl called a Zotterman curl. You're gonna do a classic curl on the way up, turning your palms towards the ceiling. When you get to the top, you're gonna to fix that position in, turn your hands down towards the floor and slowly lower back to the bottom position before resetting. It's tempting to let your elbows flare out away from your sides when you turn into an overhand grip. So make sure on the way down, your elbows are staying tucked in so that they're in contact with your sides. Bring yourself onto the mat now, take one of the dumbbells and you're gonna do a sprinter crunch. You wanna start with a very slight knee bend and your head just off the floor. You're gonna crunch up alternating knees to chest. Just reach the dumbbell directly up towards the ceiling, stacking your abs on top of one another don't try and do a full sit up. This is just a crunch action when you come up and make sure in that bottom position that you're not overarching your lower back off the mat. Staying on the mat now, we're gonna do a single dumbbell dead bug pullover. Dead bugs are one of my favorite exercises for strengthening the core to really support that lower back and avoid back pain. The 
the most important thing in a dead bug is that your lower back doesn't excessively arch off the floor. So try and keep it pressed down into the floor, especially when you're in that open dead bug position, you wanna avoid that overarch. If you're finding that you can't stop overarching, you just need to not put the dumbbell quite so far overhead. And instead of extending the leg all the way to the floor, just extend forwards to a 45 degree angle between the floor and the ceiling. Take a 30 second rest, there's one down and two to go.
there's two done just one round left now and then you completed the workout if you're enjoying this workout once you've finished go onto my channel hit the subscribe button and check out my dumbbells playlist there's loads more follow along workouts that you can try of different lengths and different styles
And that's it, upper body workout complete. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments. Would you go heavier? Would you go lighter next time round? Make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out my dumbbells playlist. I've got loads more workouts that you can try out in there. If you want some new dumbbells and you feel like you need a bigger selection, I've put some links in the description to the type of dumbbells that I use. They're affiliate links, but it doesn't cost you any more and the sites are great value ones that I'd recommend. As always, have a great week and hopefully I'll see you again soon for another workout.